finally got the whole motor off. Way better. That wet blue. Damn, you know, man. Yeah. Yeah. Put her off and did exactly what we did. Got it looking good. So y'all see what time it is, man. This thing is not hell yeah. And my boy then came through, man. Good looking. He got me right. Man, this motherfucker look good. I gave you the box already. I gave you the box already. Okay. Hell yeah. This motherfucker. What up YouTube man, welcome back to the channel. I know we have not had a video up in a while, man, but we're getting everything back on track like I said before. So stay tuned for the videos. But today we got a bike we've been building for the past two and a half, three months. Now, the whole thing about it is with this video, I tried to keep everything all together instead of posting many parts in all these different videos over time. That's why I waited till everything was complete. So please don't be confused. I try to put some dates up to help everybody out, keep up with everything. But besides that, we still got our giveaway coming this month, July, 2024. My birthday is in two days, 7-11, man. So we about to have some fun and be out here going up. But anyway, we're about to get some work done. So make sure y'all stay tuned, like, comment, and subscribe. We're almost on our way to 15,000 subscribers. So please, like, comment, and subscribe, man. We're about to have it coming to y'all real soon man just stay tuned what up man we back at it early right now so today i've been having a bike i worked on before i'm about to go ahead and pick up so basically this guy got a whole brand new motor built he's been getting built for the past few months so the motor's finally done i'm about to get the whole bike right into my spot i'm about to uh basically redo his frame powder go his put some washers make his bike look good we're about to slide to get the bike y'all gonna see it in a minute just know, man, we about to be sounding and sliding looking good real soon. music that he already got wired so when I put it all together I can just fully assemble it without cutting anything but he got a gang of pieces everything is fully chromed out he got the original hair wings PM floorboards all the crash bar PM front 23 with the rotors all that stuff we got this thing on the way please understand man this thing is wild. Better. Way better. So 
lot going on right now, but we got it coming together. It took me hours getting these legs knocked out, but we got this thing looking good with the blue and the chrome with the blue lines, as y'all can see. Got the blue brake, brake line going down, and then got the blue clutch line. That blue is looking good, man. We got this thing coming together. About to keep going on. Now we can get the inner fairing on, so let's get it. Man, we've been out here all day, I swear to you. But we got progress on this zone. I'm telling y'all, we're getting to it. First thing first, automatically, y'all see the frame. It's crazy. That's the whole thing about it. This was a complete bike already. We just added the frame. We got some washers coming. We got the powder coated blue frame, as y'all can see with the blue color lines looking amazing. This thing coming together. We got the fairing. Everything is lighting up working. Yes, sir. Everything working lighting up, man. Got the music. Headlight. It's still with no motor. Y'all see it. Got this thing coming together. Looking good. Yes, sir. <laughs> oh, I'm so amped up, man. His bike is about to be a beast. Stay tuned, man. We got everything wrapped in plastic. We're about to finish installing. So, we're about to clean the wheels up tomorrow. We got the swing arm in a chrome shop, so we're going to have that on the way, but y'all see it, man. Yes, yeah, sir. Back here watching the rare breed video from two years ago. Getting this joint together. We got the back fender up on there. We getting that bolted up. I'm finishing the front fairing to get this top screw as being a headache, but we're going to get it going. Like I said last night, we finished up the whole front end. We're about to go ahead and put that wrap around, put the front wheel and get everything screwed in. Like I said, uh, I'm making it a full roller from which I had already. So we're getting everything going, but we try to sting rolling out by the end of this week or next week once we get that chrome swing on. But we got the wheels right here. We're about to clean up, unwrap that gas tank and these last few pieces right here. So let's get to it, man. So yes, this thing took some time. I guess it's because like the way these brackets is on here, I have to make sure both adjusted at the same way for the inner fairing, the outer fairing, the lower piece and the actual headwind bracket. So I, it reminded me of these street glides, I ain't gonna lie to y'all, but as y'all can see, we got that thing juiced up looking good. this or hear this that you used to go up on Mulholland Drive and park yeah, every night and visualize seeing yourself as yeah I would visualize uh yeah I would this visualize, is when you were broke and poor you know, right having directors interested in me and people that I respected uh, right. um, saying you know I like your work the washers being added and, and uh, bringing some color into this joint it's got a lot of chrome washers I mean chrome alloys already got to get the last pieces yeah see Play as fuck up too, man. So I just want to start off by saying, God damn, and, uh, and this I, I motherfucker looks. Well, y'all did see a reflection of the bike in the swing arm. Let's just start right there. Golly, that is crazy. But he got all the oohs and ahs on here for everything to go together. Damn, man. Yeah. That is crazy. This is amazing. Like, I ain't even gonna lie. He gonna make me up my game now, cause man, this thing looks crazy. 
I ain't gonna lie, this motherfucker's so clean. Sheesh, nigga. Took a long time, baby boy, but God damn, that motherfucker's shining. I ain't gonna lie, this thing is looking good, man. Got everything getting tarked down. That's his extra plate. This thing coming in. So, we finally have some motion going. I got everything ready for the back wheel to get on. I didn't put it on because of the way it's balanced on the jack. So I was like, you know what? Let me do the front. Got the front going. Remember I told you about that problem of me snapping the axle. So it turns out the one that I ended up getting from them ended up being the wrong size. So this one is a 0005. The one I bought is a 007. Probably for the newer style PM legs, but we got to get that small one to get the right size. We made some progress on this joint. Finally got that back wheel up on there. I love how he already had the whole axle and everything chromed out. But the washers have made everything look good. We're going to zip tie everything up. Man, that look good. The chrome bracket with the chrome PM caliper. They already had the bike complete looking good. All we did was just powder coat that frame at the washers with the color lines. Gave it some more life, but... The overall image of it looked good. He said he had a chrome, not chrome, but a polished motor. So I can't wait to see how that come out in the end. But man, that looks crazy. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. But um, still got the rest of the pieces. I put the broken axle on here until I get the right one. We're gonna, uh, my boy said he gonna come pick it up, go swap it out at PM. So we're gonna get that situated. But um, overall, man, it's coming together. It's definitely coming together. So, look at that lightning. I'm telling you, that thing looks so good. We went ahead and cut a gang of zip ties. Try to zip tie everything up how they had it before. Yes, sir, man. Back out here the next day. My boy DC didn't bless me again, man. But the good thing about it is this bike got to go to their shop either way. So, I need this A1. I put the old one on there so we can have it as a roller. But I never fully bolted all that up, so... We're gonna get all that back, bust down, put this one up in there and go from there. But like I say, man, he on the way. He about to get this motor installed by them. And I gotta get this last screw out. But I'm gonna just take it to the guy who used to do all my uh, boat extracting by my shop, by the old shop. Yes, sir. So we just came back. We got some more washers and Allen screws. I got that one I wanna swap out. And then he got two screws down there one out and that one right there we're gonna swap them out and then um i wanted to add some washers on this side of the fourth legs the other side and then the back caliber so we got this thing looking good but we're about to finish wrapping everything up today had this thing on its way yes yeah, sir man we want to add it some more washers on this joint he got so much chrome back here i just had to put some up on there and then we got some more up on the front brakes on that front caliber this thing looking good. I have to add some more screws on this side. I'll definitely put some more over here. That one I gotta finish getting up in there now. That's one thing I can say with powder coating these things, you gotta clean the threads, but me moving, having stuff in storage all over the place, had me kind of everywhere with the tools, but we're still getting it done though, man. This thing is looking good. This thing definitely is looking good. We almost on the way out, man. I'm gonna finish going over everything today, so stay tuned. So, I ain't gonna lie, it's super hot. Super duper hot out here right now. But we get into a uh, correct axle. So now we got this thing looking good. We added some washers to the brakes. Then we got the colored lines going up. Looking oh so good. I had to go over everything. I still gotta get this boat for that floorboard. And then we're gonna get that last screw up in there. Um, we added some more on the back end. I gotta make sure everything is right. I went ahead and swapped out. Like I said, we got them screws right there. Put some more of them in there. Got some more washers on that side. This thing definitely looking good. I towed the bike to the boat extractor to get this out. 
Now, I was going to start drilling in there and getting it out, but I'd rather leave it to the professionals to just knock it out in one day, get it done, and go on about our day so my guy could get his bike on the way and have his... Man, this thing is a J-O-B. This thing definitely looking good, though. So much in the background. I'm trying to get the right view for y'all. So shout out to my guy Ray. Let me use the truck. I'm about to go ahead and deliver Street Glide today. This is our problem we're about to go fix. Stay tuned. We got it offloaded. Oh man, it's hot. Got that thing in there. About to get it back tomorrow with the screw out. We gonna be home. So yeah, man, we just came out here to my guy, Jim. We about to have him get the screw out and we're gonna be on our way. I have to just take apart the leg warmer for that one side, but as long as they can handle it, I am 100% okay with that. I just want the bike to be back to the owner so he can get that motor on and go enjoy his day, man. We slide it though. Yes, sir, man, we back out here sliding right now the next day with the trailer on the back. I just went ahead and tried to clean this thing out inside out real quick, but um, we're about to go ahead and finally pick up the street glide. They finally got the boat ready, took it out. So it's game time, man. We're about to finally get it loaded up, loaded up get it back to the crib, get everything else fully assembled, and then I'll be ready to get dropped off, man. So stay tuned, we slide it. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Is your son here today? Oh, yeah, we looking good. You know, he lectured me a lot about these threads. <laughs> swear, that was crazy, but you got it perfect. And this is like the perfect size screw. Yeah, it's a 516 ZE, is what that is. Man. Yes, yeah, sir, man, we got this thing loaded up, looking amazing out here in this sunny light. It's crazy. So this is a screw. They want to fix. They got the threads perfect for your boy. So we're back in the game. I got it looking good. I'm telling you. They've been getting me right for years. Finally got this thing on his way, man. He looking good, top to bottom. Everything iced up. He's in a good detail. I tried to clean it, but this chrome is a J-O-B. I ain't gonna lie to y'all, but let's get this tailgate up, get it back to the house, get the other leg warm room, get the gas tank bolted up with the seat, go over everything, make sure everything is solid, and then we're gonna finally drop this thing off, man. So stay tuned. We sliding, not hiding. So we got the um, leg warmer on there. I had the gas thing, but I took it back off so I can get these boats fully in there. But um, we're about to get that thing back on there, get the seat back on. We are gonna be completely done, man. Ready to drop this. We done finally got it complete with the gas tank. This thing look good. It's crazy with that powder coat, a few little pieces could do, man. Cause I swear to you, he had everything up on his joint already down there. So good. So that's gonna be the icing on the cake. 
I just got the rest of these mounts and stuff for him. Y'all see what time it is, man. It's sliding, looking good. Game time. Yes, sir, man. We got our final day with the bike, man. We got everything finally finished and complete. Unfortunately, the dude still ain't came to see it in person, and he's still not going to be there for the drop-off. And unfortunately, I don't have a truck that can drop it off right now. Like y'all said, the team, my boy Ray had let me use it. He was going to let me use it today, but my boy got some bread lined up. I told him I'm not going to stop his grind. So I got my other boy, DJ, to come pick it up with the truck and the trailer. So we're going to actually get this thing on the way to the shop so they can get the motor installed and everything else from there. But overall, I'm happy. I just give me a gang of videos and pictures to make sure nothing happens and everything i did is exactly what it is so it's nothing to talk about but like i said this thing is looking amazing it's looking good he just took it all apart got the motor off and did exactly what we did got it looking good so y'all see what time it is man this thing is juiced up looking good got the brand new tires front and back the color brake line clutch line a few washers chrome allens he got that chrome swing arm I swear to you that thing looks amazing I tried to just give it a little fake wipe down because it was super dirty but we got it shining looking good man i'm telling you that blue with that frame and that paint just blend and flow it looked crazy but stay tuned man let me know what y'all think he got a fully polished motor i can't wait to see how it's gonna look on the bike but y'all gonna see what time it is man we working not nah, hell yeah and my boy then came through man good looking he got me right Man, this motherfucker look good. I gave you the box already? Huh? I gave you the box already? Okay. Hell yeah. This motherfucker.